Ah, uh, hello everyone. Welcome back to Metroid Prime number two. Here we are with the randomizer. So, if you guys recall from last time, we ended up soft blocking the game twice right after we got the dark visor, which we're going to need, so we're going to collect that again this time. But then we are not going to shoot that guy in the head. We're going to see if not shooting him in the head helps uh, avoid soft blocking that area. So we may not fight him at all, we may just go down there to scan the hint, see if that works. My hypothesis is that it will work, and that the glitch occurred because we shot him in the head, and so that would be my hypothesis. But hypotheses are meant to be tested, so we know we can at least go down here and collect the dark visor, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Now let's hope that right after we collect the dark visor here, that we will not get soft blocked this time. That was really annoying to have to deal with. Okay. The glitch could occur just simply by entering this room. It could occur by shooting that guy in the head or something. Let's see. We already found the aggressive suit there. Let's see if this is anything of interest. Just a missile expansion, it looks like. So, um, we will not fight this enemy in order to avoid soft blocking the game, at least for now. And we will see if that fixes the error we ran into. What do we have over here? Looks like it's just a missile expansion here. Ah, I forgot about this turret. Okay, now we're gonna go up into the entrance to unlock Sanctuary, and then we should be good to go after that. Um, unfortunately, we were running very low on power bombs. It'd be very nice if there was an ammo station around here, but we do not have that to work with. So we're gonna have to see what's in the front of Sanctuary. We can still go here, but we will be running out of power bombs very shortly so anyway it's nice to be past the soft blocking issue because that was getting really annoying <laughs> you know um, we still need to find echo visor but I think that's about it for now and sonic boom is a major priority on my list just because I find it extremely useful it would be nice to have it already as I said power bomb drop system is extremely generous so we are good to go on power bombs we're at 149 missiles, which for a lot of you who have not seen previous parts, you may wonder why the missile number is not always, you know, divisible by five. The answer is because missiles here count for four missiles each instead of an additional five. So I'm spending all this extra time to get something that's not even worth much. <laughs> at least that's one way to look at it, right? Okay, um, I, th I believe we already cleared out Aegon, um, mostly. Once again, it's yesterday's kind of memory of it, because um, last time I played this game, it was yesterday, and it's not always advisable to, you know, split up your parts on randomizers, because you start to forget what's going on um, a certain amount into the game. You start to be like, okay, where, where's whatever? Did I already check here? Did I not check here? Um, from what I recall, we checked almost um, all the areas we could get to in Upper Torvis, and we couldn't find what we were looking for. Uh, which was Dark Visor. We wanted to get uh, to get to keep Cannonball, and unfortunately, I lost it by um, jumping in a cannon. And after that point, I lost it by um, the game crashing on me. So apparently, whenever the game restarts, goes back to the home screen, you will lose Cannonball. You will not lose Cannonball by save warping or saving, but merely by game crashes. Okay, which is good to know, I guess, or good enough to know. I'm not sure. <laughs> Okay, let's um, let's go this way first to unlock the um, this thing, so we can cross back from the other side if we ever go the other way. The good old thing is amber, cobalt, crimson, uh, emerald, I believe. So amber here, cobalt is blue. Also, do not fall in this room if you have cannonball because you will soft block the game. I've heard and told that many times, so you know I believe it to be true. But I cannot confirm, I've never made that mistake. Anyway, once you do this, then this area will be accessible, so we can go from the back side in the future there. But, um, yes, that is a nice addition. Let's see if the res bits are here. They should normally be here, they're pretty fun to kill and stuff, so... Um, I'm not seeing any yet, so maybe that's just a good thing. Let's, uh, let's go back up before we fight the lower down quad, because um, we do not need to fight him as of yet. We can also go Dark World and check um, a few interesting locations in Sanctuary and other places now that we have the Dark Visor. 
Some interesting stuff we can go and check on. Okay, so up here somewhere, one of these locations happens to be an item. It's right there. There it is, it's the grapple beam. Grapple beam we're going to pick up anyway, but um, it's not actually that useful an item once you have screw attack. You can actually turn on screw attack in progressive grapple, so you will always get grapple beam instead of screw attack when you first start out, is um, one of the settings you can adjust in the randomizer. But we didn't do that, seeing as that's a very bad decision. The um, orbs here that will light up happen to be numbers 2 and 4. So you're pretty fine on number 3 and number 5. You just have to watch out for sphere 4 here, which is going to light up. Uh, sphere 3 and 1, I believe, simply will not do that. I don't think that sphere 5 does it either, but I'm not 100% on that one. So, um, come on. Come on. There we go. You really don't like to mess up these puzzles because um, this one's one of those very punishing puzzles where you got to go all the way back to the beginning. It's not as bad as some of the morph ball puzzles in this game, but I don't know. Some of these are atrocious is my personal opinion on it, at least. Hopefully we do not soft block the game simply by shooting a quad in the head here. He should be around here somewhere, right? Um, I think maybe the quad spawn is over here, like entering the room here is what spawns the quad. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So hopefully destroying his head does nothing, as it should. And then we just need to boost into him. You do not want to come here if you don't have boost ball or if you don't have screw attack, because then you cannot kill the squad. And so, Sanctuary can be very punishing early on, I can say that much for sure. Um, yeah, it can be a little tricky to kill that quad too, but um, anyway. We'll go Sank Map Station, and then we'll grab a save, now that we've succeeded in not soft blocking the game. It's a very important achievement. <laughs> uh, also, we cannot go out the front of Sank, by the way, because um, that our area is blocked off. And I think we may want to go double back into Sank to do a little more exploration before we um, journey almost anywhere else. I think that we should grab those remaining items in Sank, etc. Energy Tank is a nice addition, so thank you for that game. Um, if we want to get to Sank Entrance, of course, we're going to have to go back to the front, and these are some good things to do while we do not have cannonball. Go and get all of the non-cannonball items is probably a good idea. Anything that requires a cannon is probably good to clear right now. So yeah, we may want to double back and hit up all of the um, all of the Sank items we can access right now. Uh, we can't go anywhere that Echo Visor is necessary, but Echo Visor could easily be locked by Dark Visor, which we just got, so that would be good. You know. I'm feeling like we should continue this part a little longer. I'm just getting that feeling. Sometimes you get that feeling. You're like, yeah, this part's not long enough. You know, you need to keep going. So that's what I'm getting right now. So hopefully you guys do not protest to that idea. Honestly, I really want Sonic Boom already because Sonic Boom would just be a great, great addition. I love killing Resbits with the Sonic Boom, and I love killing Metroids with it. I love killing everything with Sonic Boom, and... I super fast killed Emperor Ng last time when I had Sonic Boom, so that was super, super fun. Um, and Sonic Boom, normally you can never use it because it's so costly, like it costs 30 shots of ammo, but I mean, I could use it because I clearly, you know, picked up, <laughs> like I clearly don't have beam ammo on, so um, it's not like I'm going to get cost there. Unlike in the normal game where Sonic Boom is just something you really just can't afford to use because it's 30 shots of both light, light and dark ammo, and that's just like, no, that's too much, you know? <laughs> Ugh. These things happen. Anyway. But hopefully you guys are enjoying the game with me here. And now there are Bombuses here, which is annoying. I'm not sure what causes them to spawn in this area, but um, they're annoying, I can tell you that much. Uh, I guess we should go ahead and get this item, and I'll complain about it the whole time while I do it, but... Uh, it's kind of necessary, you know? So, uh, Oh, the Ing Mashers are also on. I didn't know that was going to happen. I think that's when you collect power bombs that it does that. There will be two of them that spawn instead of quads in this room from now on. I think the second one's right over here. Um, I think they'll also seal off the portal chamber, so you have to fight them. Um, is one of the things they can do. But it will only be two. It won't be this guy or his buddy and stuff. And, of course, they they won't respawn after a certain point. So there are some ways to get this item by, like, doing some tricky stuff with cameras and instant unmorphs and whatever, but I don't know none of that, so we're just going to be stuck going in the normal way. 
which this is like my least favorite puzzle in the entire game. I will explain why in just a minute, but um, it's just such a long puzzle, it's so unnecessary, and I had a really bad experience once in the past when I first picked up this game on the Trilogy Edition. So what happened is I was playing through this part and the Ing Mashers came to life and on my first playthrough I was using a guide for this area. And it told me to kill them with a power bomb and stuff. And so I tried to do that but I didn't have power bombs because I just beat Spider Guardian. And I hadn't even saved the progress there. I was just trying to get back to the main Sank um, area, you know? And I couldn't do that. And then I was trying to escape them and I had Spider Ball and I rolled up a Spider Ball track and instead of rolling out of the room like I was supposed to, I rolled into this puzzle, and this pu and then inside the puzzle, an Ing Masher began to attack me, and he murdered me inside this puzzle, like right when I was in here. He just kept smashing the wall and hitting me until I died. So do not get into this puzzle if you're fighting an Ing Masher, etc. Um, that was just a really bad experience that got me to really hate Echoes, so um, it's kind of good that I'm coming back to it now, um, being able to laugh about that one, but... I don't know, it was a really hard Spider Guardian fight for me, like I just didn't know what I was doing at all, you know, I was not using a proper guide by any means, so uh, I don't know. It was just a bad, bad experience for me. Okay, we need to jump quickly. Jump quickly! Ah! Uh, okay, this is another thing I hate. All the lasers in the freaking Morph Ball tunnels, you know? So, first off, I'm no good with Morph Ball jumps in this area. For some reason, I just can't do it well. Like, I just am so used to using Spring Ball there from Trilogy, you know? And then, this is just bad. It's lasers, and it's stupid, and the platforms keep freaking moving, and I hate this part. I hate, hate, hate this part. See, what's with the lasers? Why are they so necessary? I don't get it. It's, as I said, I just love to complain about this section because it really, really sucks. Ah, oh, freaking God, come on, man. Like, work with me a little bit, platforms. Ugh, bomb jumping can suck it. Ugh, come on. I don't even know why I'm so bad at bomb jumping in this area. I just am. I just really suck at it. <laughs> okay, I think I got a pattern down for it. Here we go. Damn it. Uh. Uh. Lasers, ugh. Okay, I just, I hate this part. I hate, hate, hate this part. Hate this part of the puzzle specifically. I hate this entire puzzle. I hate the premise. And you can't even get out of here if you start screwing it up. The only way through here is just to do it. To complete the entire freaking puzzle. And who has the hellish time for that, huh? No! Why does it not balance well? Okay, if you have Spring Ball on in this area, freaking use it. I wish there was a way to turn it on for this version. Uh, you need spring ball here. Man, this is the worst time I've ever had with bomb jumping in here. It's just, it sucks so much. This is why I hate this item. I hate this item. And yet for 100% I have to collect it. So eventually I'm going to get good at this puzzle the more 100% runs I do and all. But come on. Who likes this puzzle? Who decided to create such a hellish puzzle? Damn it. Hate that one. Hate it. Okay, it's over now, at least. This part's not that bad, etc. So, I don't know. It's just, ugh. I can't tell you why I hate that puzzle so much. It's just, I guess I'm not good at bomb jumping. Bomb jumping slow, you get spring ball in the trilogy version, and so it's like, why would you not just use spring ball? Yeah, I guess that's always my question. Anyway, once you roll through here, you just bomb this block, and you get the item, so... If it's a good item, you're going to have to go through this. But there's a way to morph, uh, instant morph and do stuff, and I have to learn that trick, because I never want to have to do that freaking puzzle again. Okay, what we're going to do here is jump to the Dark World and grab the um, the item on Dark Sank Entrance, or whatever that's called. We're going to grab that item, because now we have everything we need to do it. And um, we're hoping we find Sonic Boom. We're hoping we find Echo Visor. And honestly, we don't have any good hints to where any of that stuff could be. It could be anywhere at this point. I think there are a few more hints in Lower Torvis we might want to check out. Um, otherwise, it's um, pretty, pretty good on where we want to go. I wonder if Cannonball gets rid of laser damage. I bet it has to. Maybe that would make the game a lot easier. I'm not sure. Eh. It's kind of hard not having Cannonball at this point. Eh. 
It's weird that it's like one of those items you can actually lose in the game. Then again, it's not like developers put it in here on purpose. They just put it in here for morph ball stuff. Here's another Ing Masher, so drop your last power bomb right there. Take him out nice and freaking easy, and he's supposed to drop a power bomb, but he didn't. So, anyway, one of the nice things about going here is there's an ammo station right over here in the uh, dark world, so yeah, you can jump on over here. This is one of those last items in the game you ever pick up, kind of in normal sense. But for us, it is going to be, you know, just kind of in the middle. I mean, we've already picked up, like, what? Let me pause the game quick here and see. 71% of the items, so, um, you know, we're most of the way there, if you look at it from an item perspective. But we still have a decent number more bosses to fight if we're doing 100% and all. So we have to still fight Alpha Blog. Everybody loves that clown. No, everybody hates Alpha Blog so much, you know? <laughs> I think I think we can all speak to that. Okay, if you want to take out the Night Barbs here and get across the room, you don't even have to. From it's, it, The room's a giant circle, so it's only when you get back up you really have to do that. But it's fun to watch them die, etc. Yeah, it's really sad I lost Cannonball and it wasn't even my fault, you know? <laughs> Ugh, man. Well, I guess it kind of was my fault for checking the wrong item first for Dark Visor. But I was right to stick around and sank, because if I went to Torvus Bog, I was going to waste a lot of time and not find anything. Let's see if we can grab that power bomb. Come on. Come on. Nope, guess we can't. So you got to jump all the way across here. Three, four, five. Come on, make it. Yes, I made it. <laughs> My last playthrough, I made it almost all the way across, and then I just it in the last bit. Okay. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's a lot easier on the second one, because it's a shorter distance and all. Once you have Dark Visor, you can start, you know, killing these guys. These are the Ing Caches, and they each carry a, an item that originally is supposed to be a Sky Temple key every time, but that is no longer the case. So, uh, yeah. Keys also don't count towards percentage for everybody who didn't know that. Now you know that, etc. So yeah, on the way back up here, you have to take out these night barbs. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to leap on this platform. You can just annihilator beam them, or you can just, you know, turn on the light crystal and it'll wipe them all out for you. Nice and freaking simple. Sadly, did not get a power bomb drop. Oh well. I don't really need one at this point, but um, let's take out this ing masher quickly and grab a save. And then we're going, well, I guess this is a dark ink basher, because that makes a massive difference. Uh, yeah, anyway, he's dead, so everybody dies to power bombs, right? Is that why it was like the last item in Metroid Other M to show up? Man. Yeah, people have bad things to say about Other M too, but Other M actually was not that bad. At least that's my opinion, but whatever. It's good for what it is, which is basically a remake of Fusion, you know? But anyway, we'll pick back up on that controversial topic maybe next time. And I'll see you guys for the next part. So stay tuned, and I will see you guys later.